So this is my first video of 2021 and all I can say is we are kicking it off in style. Let's do this. Hey guys! It's your girl, Aisha Sasha. It is 2021. We are done with 2020. That is so last year. It's dead and gone. Let's move on. Let's try and be happy this year, okay? <laughs> so, I have something very exciting to show you. I was approached by the brand Koi Footwear. Koi Footwear are a vegan shoe brand. So all the shoes that they do are all made out of vegan materials. And they approached me and they were like, girl. And I was like, girl. They were like, so all of those like things that you use to decorate your shoes, like all your resin charms and all the rest of that jazz, is that all vegan? And I was like, um, quick Google. Yes, <laughs> just to double check. <laughs> I was like, yes, why? They were like, we wanna see what you can do with a pair of these. Now, what they didn't realize is that what's in here is actually the boots that I've wanted for a really, really long time. So let me show you the ting here we go <laughs> are you guys ready you've probably seen these before but if not they are adorable are you ready i don't know if you're ready <laughs> oh. Oh. behold the hydra matrix kawaii pastel platform boots yes mama look at this just look just i mean like this couldn't be more me if it tried right i mean do you know i didn't even realize that like my top pretty much exactly matches the boots i didn't even think about that when i was putting this on but you know story of my life so they were like we would like to give you a theme and the theme is sprinkles. And I'm like, hello, that is completely my aesthetic. I love the sprinkles aesthetic. You guys already know, I love me some desserts, okay? So they were like, take these boots, see what you can do with them. We would love to see what you come up with. So I was like, cool. And then I hyperventilated for quite some time. <laughs> so um, I already sort of brainstormed what I was going to do. So I'm gonna share with you my thoughts. Basically, I'm gonna be changing the colors of the front, back, and top of the shoe here. We're gonna make them more ice cream colors. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep pink, but it'll be a slightly different shade of pink. And we're also gonna do um, mint and a kind of like sort of vanilla-y, yellowish kind of color, like a really, really pale, basically like this, like a really pale yellow, kind of like a vanilla ice cream color. And then we're gonna have chocolate drizzle going down along here so it's gonna all sort of like drip down this is my vision okay and the white here I'm going to cover in iridescent glitter and um, I'm actually going to attach some handmade resin charms so my thoughts are to use my gummy bear mold that I have and to make some actual gummy bears and have them hooked onto the little hooks here so that they can be swinging as you walk. Yeah, so that, you know, it's got a little bit of movement. And um, on the back, you've got some spaces here and I'm thinking you can hang stuff off that. So I'm thinking to make um, some chocolate pieces because uh, I have a bitten chocolate mold and I think that will look really cool if there's at least one of them hanging off the back. I'm not quite sure if I'll have the same, I probably wouldn't have the same on, on, on both of them. I'll have a bit in chocolate piece on one and something else on the other. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I definitely want to have a chocolate piece on there. Over here is going to be all 3D sprinkles and they're gonna be all done with um, 3D, 3D, 3D puff paint. So when you run your hand along it, it's gonna feel like actual sprinkles. It's gonna be really, really cool. I'm so, so excited. And um, yeah, I'm just glad that now I finally have the actual time to sit down and properly do this. <laughs> I've been waiting a couple of weeks until like Christmas and New Year and everything was over and done with because I wanted to be able to properly dedicate my time to it. So 
I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to Koi Footwear for sending me these boots, which I have wanted for months and months and months. Um, I am truly humbled that you would choose me to do something like this. This is this is a really big deal for me. You can tell I'm beaming. I'm really happy. <laughs> this is a big deal for me. I'm very, very excited and I really hope that you like what I come up with and I really hope that you all, Shasha Squad, like what I come up with as well. Also, just before I get started, I have a special discount code in the description box below, especially for you. You're going to be getting 25% off at Koi Footwear. Yes, you're very welcome. Okay, so go ahead, fill your boots and just <sighs> pray for me. <laughs> Hopefully these turn out just how I imagined or hopefully even better. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's have a little chat about the materials that I'm gonna be using. So brand wise, I'm using Angelus paint and also the Tulip dimensional paint as well. Um, what I really like about the Tulip bottles is that they have a very, very thin nozzle. So they're perfect for doing little sprinkles. And the Angelus brushes are really, really good quality. I'm so glad that I spent the extra couple of pounds and actually got the professional brushes. I've used Angelus paint many, many times before. Well, I say many, many times, I've used it a few times before but enough to know that like I'm really happy with them um, and I'm using their uh, too soft additive to go in with the paint because that's what you use if you're going to be applying it to any, any sort of like fabric that's on your shoes. This frog tape is what I'm going to be using as my masking tape and that's going to be done just around the areas that I don't want to get any paint on. This is a really 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 important part of the whole process and took me nearly an hour even just to get it all taped up properly because you want to make sure that you get your lines as crisp as possible yes you will still need to do a little bit of touching up but it really does save a lot of work if you do tape down your edges Now you might be wondering why I didn't just reel off one long piece of tape and then just bend it around the edges. And it's quite simply because you won't get a clean line that way. You have to rip it off bit by bit and place them on one by one in order to actually get to all the little nooks and crannies. And yes, it takes a long time, but it is definitely worth it in the end. So now what I'm doing is I'm mixing together the uh, acrylic leather paint with the Too Soft. I'm doing it on a one-to-one -one ratio. And I'm actually glad that I got these big mixing jars for this. They were supposed to be a lot smaller, but um, I clearly didn't read the measurements. <laughs> and they were a lot bigger than I expected. But it was better for me this way because it meant that I could mix up more paint and then save it for later because I knew I was going to be needing a lot more. Um, I actually did about four layers of paint in total on each panel and you do have to heat set it with a heat gun in between each layer as well just to make sure that it completely adheres to your fabric. This is the reason why I said that I loved the Angelus brushes because just the way that the bristles can just bend and adjust to the way that I paint, it's just perfect for me. You want bristles that are gonna be nice and flexible so that you can get to all those little rounded edges. And um, as you could see there as well, I had to get very, very close to the uh, sock lining. And so you want to make sure that your brushes are flexible enough to allow you to actually do this. Now, when I used this mint color, I kind of forgot that it was gonna be very diluted because obviously I'm mixing it in with the, uh, with the Too Soft and I figured that it was just way too pale for me. So I did actually um, mix in a slightly darker mint color later and that's what gave it a much more uh, vibrant mint. Um, so yeah, I would definitely suggest not being afraid to mix up your colors. Even here, I'm mixing together the petal pink and the hot pink and the white to give me the exact shade of pink that I wanted and then I added in the Too Soft to that. Um, so yeah, feel free to experiment with all the different colors. They all mix together brilliantly.
So as you can see, adding in the darker mint color really does help the toe of this boot to pop. And I love, love, love the shade of pink that I did the back of the boot in as well. And I know that the yellow is a lot brighter than I expected it to be, but I actually do quite like it. I think that it goes well with the pink and with the mint at the front here. Yes, this is very satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> it's so much nicer when you rip off your tape and you've got those lovely clean lines, but you will have to do a little bit of touching up because there are just some little crevices that you quite simply can't get into. So just take a really thin brush and go into those little corners there. Now don't be too alarmed if when you start using your deglazer you start to see some of the colour of your shoe come off. That is completely and utterly normal. You're going to be glossing over it again anyway so don't worry about it. It's just removing the uh, factory finish so that any other paint that you put on top can actually stay on. And so that's what I was making sure that I was doing. I did that over the whole shoe apart from the, um, apart from the tongue because I wasn't going to be doing anything on that part. So now I'm just using the Tulip Dimensional Paint and doing some little sprinkles. Now I know it looks like I'm going at the speed of light. I am doing this so, so slowly because I wanted the sprinkles to look real. Now I have done shoes before with sprinkles and looking back on it now, I wish that I had done them like a hundred times smaller. Um, so this for me was very important to make sure that they all were roughly the same size and all actually looked like proper real sprinkles. I wanted people to look at this shoe and want to eat it. <laughs> and I already wanted to eat it. So yeah, <laughs> I think I managed to get it right. Now this is a very satisfying tape peel, I have to say, until you get to this little bit just here. Yeah, so as you can see there, there's a tiny little bit that needs to be filled in. That's absolutely fine to do. Just grab yourself a really thin brush and um, yeah, just fill in the little gaps and make sure that you don't forget to heat set it as well so that it all stays in place. I do use a waterproofing spray as well just to make sure that all the colouring stays on. Um, I just didn't have it with me at this moment in time, but that's what I did afterwards. And oh yeah, also make sure you keep a wet wipe handy so you can keep your lines nice and straight. I'm now using the acrylic finisher and this gorgeous glitter from Arteza. This is their iridescent glitter. It is so, so beautiful. And I'm going to be using that to add on some frosting, if you will. You know, sometimes you get like the edible glitter that you can get onto cupcakes. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going with here. <laughs> Trust me, it just really adds just that extra shine. So once I'd put the, um, the finisher on it and then put the glitter on top, I then heat set that and then I put on another layer of the uh, finisher, heat set it again and now that is all fully locked in place. Did somebody say chocolate drizzle? Oh yes. So this bit now, this is what kind of like finishes it off for me. Now this brown is very, very dark, but then again, so is vegan chocolate. So, you know, we had to keep it authentic here. So I'm just basically very slowly. I know again, it looks like I'm going very quickly. I'm really not, I'm doing this so, so slowly. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that like, I don't get this brown anywhere that it's not supposed to be. Um, eventually I found out a way of sort of holding my hand so that I could just angle it properly and it all squeezed out perfectly fine from the tube. But to begin with, my goodness, I was so, so nervous because I thought to myself, I've come so far. I don't want this to get messed up, but I'm really, really happy with the way that it turned out. Now, this dimensional paint is absolutely brilliant and it stays exactly where you put it and it gives it all just a really nice 3D kind of bumpy sort of feel. But look at it. It looks like I literally just poured melting chocolate onto the shoe. Oh, it. Oh, my goodness. I just I just want to eat it. Do you want to eat it? I want to eat it. <laughs> Comment below if you just licked your screen. Um, so anyway, the next day when it was all dry, I then just used the acrylic finisher and I just painted it all over it just to make sure that all of the color was all locked in. I gave that two coats so that it's all nice and safe.
Now, those of you who are new to my channel, you might not know, but I'm primarily a resin artist. So I'm using some clear plastic molds here. I've got some clear UV resin. I've got a cute little lamp and I'm gonna be coloring my resin using the tulip dimensional paint. Make sure that you have a mask. It doesn't have to be as glamorous as mine, but you know, it helps. <laughs> And of course, make sure that you are protecting yourself and using gloves whenever you're using resin. So here I'm just, oh, actually, yes, these silicone tools. I get asked about these quite a lot. I'll leave a link in, in the description box below to these. I absolutely love using them. They are so, so handy. They're, they're my little stirring silicone tools. And also they're pretty and they've got sparkles in them. So, you know, um, but yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm adding in um, some of the brown dimensional paint and I just keep adding it in bit by bit by bit just to get a really sort of, thick chocolatey treacly kind of texture and I use my heat gun there just to eliminate any bubbles and also I use a stick lighter now yes I've joined the stick lighter gang and that's just to get rid of the very last bubbles that you sometimes get popping up after I use my small lamp I then use my big lamp and um, it actually needed a little bit of a clean so I got some of my acetone and started wiping off some of the old sticky resin that happens to get on there sometimes <laughs> But there we go. So then I popped those out and then I just um, attached some little uh, eye screws into the middle of the chocolate bar because these are gonna be hanging off of the back of the shoe. So what I did here is I domed the back with some more of the resin just to give it that really nice sort of smooth chocolatey texture. And yeah, they look pretty much good enough to eat really. <laughs> I kind of had to stop myself. Now, when it came to making my gummy bears, I decided to just mix the color in the actual mold as opposed to making like a whole batch of each color. Um, I probably should have made a little batch of each color to be fair, but I thought that this way would be quicker. Mm, I might change that method next time, but they're super duper cute anyway. But here it is, the final reveal. Let's have a little reminder of how the boots looked before. Super duper cute, absolutely loved them, wanted them for months, but bam, check out how they look guys come on let me know what you think are you happy with the finished product would you rock these do you know anybody else who would rock them i love the fact that the charms move around it just adds so much more interest to the shoe oh i absolutely adore these i can't wait until we're allowed outside the house again so that we can actually be looking cute with these boots oh if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one take care my darlings and i'll see you all soon bye